We hope you'll stick around Mr. Sean is here to entertain the crowd We've got a bit of everything Cause everything's allowed Chimera Miniatures is here to stay We hope we make you proud Welcome back, Chimera crew, to Chimera Miniatures with me, Mr. Sean. Today we have an episode I like to call Musical Musings. As you may know, I have been experimenting with AI-generated songs on the channel. Uh, some of you like it, some of you have expressed that you do not. Either way, they are just made to entertain. Please, uh, no shame. Now, one of the things I do love about using this AI program, which link is in the description if you'd like to make some of your own songs. It is very affordable. Uh, however, the thing about it is that it has allowed me to experiment with songs that are my favorite genre, which are not the, not the genre that was big when I was a kid, but rather the genre that I listened to as a kid. I listened to oldies music with my dad. That was everything from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. But my absolute favorite was like the 1960s Mersey Beat sound, which if you need a band to associate with that, the Beatles are a perfect example of Mersey Beat. In fact, they were at the forefront of it. So early Beatles music like I Wanna Hold Your Hand or Love Me Do are some of the classic examples of Mersey Beat. Though I like some of the more poppier, uh, you know, more banal, I guess, examples such as Freddy and the Dreamers, I'm Telling You Now. And while I've been making these songs and all that, one of the things you have realized is I do like to put kind of, you know, more risque lyrics in the style of older songs, something that it did happen on occasion, but a lot of the songs of music did not have, you know, we didn't, wouldn't have had thought shit back in the 60s due to censorship laws. But at the same time, this music was not innocent. I mean, there is a reason that your parents hated your music, that your grandparents hated your parents' music, that your great-grandparents hated your grandparents' music, and that your great-great-grandparents didn't know how to feel about these newfangled things like ragtime or jazz. Music is great at expressing emotion, particularly two emotions, one being sadness and the other one being horniness. And people, believe it or not, have been horny since the dawn of time. That's how you got here. And music has always been, ever since tavern bards started wooing maidens, music has been portraying that horniness. Uh, let's go back to the song Shaboom, an early doo-wop song that uh, was created in 1954, so before Mersey Beat really even got going, originally recorded by the R&B vocal group The Chords, the chorus of that song goes as follows. Every time I look at you, something is on my mind. If you do what I want you to, baby, we'd be so fine. Now maybe my mind's just in the gutter, but that's clearly, hey girl, every time I see you, I wanna bang you, and if you just let us fuck, then everything would be just peachy keen. And yet we look at this song as a hearkening back to a more innocent era, despite the fact that the song could essentially be, life could be a dream if you would let us fuck. I mean, it is. It's just a song about a guy trying to convince his girl to let him fuck her. That, that's the song. And that got me thinking. Do we just think of it as a more innocent age due to the glasses of nostalgia? And were we to start making songs in this style but with modern lyrical sensibilities, would we somehow still think of it as innocent because of that nostalgia? So. I tried a little experiment. Now please note I am not a scientist, this is not science real science, this was just me uh, designing in chat GPT and editing it up a little three different lyrical songs in the style of Mersey Beat with varying levels of, you know, lyrical vulgarity. 
and then putting that into the Suno AI program that I've been using and seeing what comes out and seeing one, if they sound good, and two, do they sound innocent despite really not being innocent? And the only person I tested this on was myself. And so what were the results? Well, one, I think all three are absolute bangers if you're into Mersey Beat. And two, um, well, let's get into that. But first, um, a little, little brief ad break, and then we're going to get into the science, real science. As you know, this channel was first created as a way for me to sell my various miniatures on eBay and Mercari. I offer a wide range of miniatures, sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and even the spicier models, as well as the occasional collectible from time to time. However, this channel has kind of created a following of its own that is quickly surpassing that other side business. We are trying to get the channel to 1,000 subscribers, and we're about 40 subscribers away. So be sure to share the video around, like, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And if you want to help the channel monetarily, please do consider going and buying a mini. Links are in the description, as well as considering either becoming a YouTube channel member, leaving a super thanks, or heading on over to the Patreon and joining there. There are different tier levels, but you can unlock all exclusive content for just $1 a month. And with all that being said, let's get to the first song. Now, this song specifically was meant to be kind of a bridge between between the vintage lyrical styles of Mersey Beat and something more modern uh, in that it is not entirely innocent. You know this person is singing about something sexual, but I just specifically designed the lyrics to be ambiguous and to let speculation run wild, which was a popular thing, like in the time, not coming right out and saying it, but you know it's there. You know what the song's about. It's why your parents hated this song if you were a kid when Mersey Beat was a thing, which knowing my audience, you likely weren't. So first up on our Is Nostalgia Automatically Deemed Pure? Uh, we have the ambiguous song, That Thing You Won't Indulge. I've been waiting for you to play this game, but there's a hidden night to keep off the frame. We kissed in twilight, touched in the dark, but there's a one thing you keep missing the mark. Oh, that thing you won't indulge, it's got me on the of a plunge. I try to crack the code, but you're keeping it in the shadows. Oh, that thing you keep so tight, it's got me feeling out of sight. Can't you see? Can't you see what it's doing to me? We've been close, baby, on the brink of delight, but there's a secret craving you won't ignite. You turn away when I'm drawing near Is there something you're keeping unclear? Oh, that thing you won't indulge It's got me on the edge of a plunge I try to crack the code But you're keeping it in the shadows Oh, that thing you keep so tight It's got me feeling out of sight Can't you see? Can't you see what it's doing to me? We've been close, baby, on the brink of delight But there's a secret craving you won't ignite You turn away when I'm drawing near Is there something you're keeping unclear? Oh, oh, that thing you won't indulge It's got me on the edge of a plunge I try to crack the code but you're keeping it in the shadows Oh, that thing you keep so tight It's got me feeling out of sight Can't you see? Can't you see what it's doing to me? I've given you my heart And all my desire But there's a tantalizing secret you won't inspire I'm reaching out but you play it cool Tell me, darling, what's the rule? Now the nights are colder and my patience frayed Waiting for you, girl, has got me swayed If you care, why keep me in suspense? 
watch the allure you keep so intense Oh, that thing you won't indulge It's got me on the edge of a plunge I try to crack the code But you're keeping it in the shadows Oh, that thing you keep so tight It's got me feeling out of sight Can't you see? Can't you see what it's doing to me? Let the mystery bend So yeah, there's that song, which is, well, you know, anybody worth their salt that's not a complete idiot is gonna realize that whatever they're talking about, it is sexual. Kind of like Think Meatloaf's I'd Do Anything For Love, But I Won't Do That. I don't know if that's actually what that song is about, but that's certainly what people are imagining, and I kind of, whatever, whatever thing this guy's girl won't do, um, you know, I don't know what it is even though I wrote the song, but that's kind of the point, you know, it just lets your mind wander, and it lets you speculate, and, you know, it's it's definitely kind of, in my mind, a bridge between the two, but it does seem, because it's upbeat, it's catchy, it's got that nostalgic sound, you know, automatically, you could play this, and people would not think twice, nobody would be like, uh, uh this song's so dirty, uh, I hate this, no, they're gonna be like, uh, the classic sound. So, in my not-so-humble opinion, because why the hell am I going to be humble right now? I'm the one taking the time to do all this and put this together, but in my not-so-humble opinion, this intro still gets that, mm, you know what, it's still, it still has that weird vibe of nostalgic purity to it, which, as I've stated before, is a falsehood in and of itself, but perception is reality. So let's kick it up a notch you know that last one it could be as dirty or as innocent as you wanted it to be but let's let's get one where they're still not coming right out and saying it but you can't you can't deny what the song's about let's go with this next song that's just carefully skirting the censors called deep i love you Deep inside 
So yeah, we've got that one, which, you know, a little harder to uh, claim the innocence button on it. But again, that, you know, that music, that sound, that rhythm, it just makes a very dirty topic uh, seem just a little less dirty, doesn't it? And that's not because it was any purer back then, but because we have these rose-tinted glasses. That's oldies music. That's the grandma and grandpa vibes. You, you, your grandparents weren't fucking, were they? No. They, they bred through immaculate conception because they just loved each other so much because otherwise your mind has to go places it doesn't want to. But, you know, deep down we all know that whether they were dancing at the hop or listening in the car to the radio, you know, on Lover's Lane, people of all times and eras got down and fucked. Horniness isn't a thing that was invented in the 80s, people. It's always been around and it's always been in music. Now for the final test, I thought, you know, okay, yeah, all it's, songs can be fine now too if they're just kept ambiguous. I mean, Take Me to Church isn't about going to Sunday services, if you know what I'm saying. Someone might be getting serviced on a Sunday, but it's not the Lord. And while I don't think you could put thought shit in the style of oldies and it not seem still absolutely filthy, no shame to that song. I do have some uh, images burned into my brain of my aunt dancing to it at my wedding, but that's beyond the point. I do think even if you go blatant with the oldie style. If you throw it out there, there's no, there's no way you can misinterpret what the song's about. It still somehow comes off as clean and more pure than if it was done in today's modern styles. And that is of course due to the nostalgia filter that even if we acknowledge that it is dirty, that it is crass, it's somehow cuter and more innocent cause it's from a while ago. And to illustrate this point, here is our final song called I Just Can't Get Enough. When you walk in, babe, I'm hypnotized. Those juicy melons got me paralyzed. Can't resist the way they swing and bounce. Every jiggle, babe, I'm ready to bounce. Those luscious pillows, I want to dive in. Can't keep my cool when you're showing that skin Got my hands itching to take a squeeze You know I'm weak for those heavy double D's I can't get enough of you big boobies Got me lost in your double D movies They're the reason that I lose all control You got my heart and my hands, baby, no Love the way they spill out your top Got me thinking, babe, I'll never stop Those soft round globes, they're all I crave With every touch, I'm your willing slave In the night, I'm dreaming of your chest Those bouncy beauties, they're simply the best Can't focus on anything else but you Your big boobies got me stuck like blue I can't get enough of you, big boobies Got me lost in your double D movies They're the reason that I lose all control You've got my heart and my hands, babe, you know Love the way they spill out your top Got me thinking 
shaking, babe, I'll never stop Those soft, round glows, they're all I crave With every touch, I'm your willing slave In the night, I'm dreaming of your chest Those bouncy beauties, they're simply the best Can't focus on anything else but you Your big boobies got me stuck like glue I can't get enough of you, big boobies Got me lost in your double D movies They're the reason that I lose all control You've got my heart and my hands, babe, you know So let me worship those glorious twins Drowning in cleavage where my pleasure begins With your big, big boobies I'm forever bound In this world of curves, you're the best I've found so, yeah, not outright using profanity or true vulgarity, as I don't want, uh, you know, I don't want to offend the, the censors here, but, um, you know, not in any way, shape, or form can we insist that that song is about anything other than what it is, and that is a man who loves his girls great big boobies, and despite the fact that you you can't that that is a that is a you know the language is somewhat tame to be perfectly honest but it is a vulgar song it is blatant it's right there in front of you you know that it's sexual in nature you can't claim ignorance with the nostalgia filter but personally it still bops it still has that somehow innocent tone to it and i think that again this while it doesn't prove my point necessarily um i know that's terrible when that's the whole point of this video was to prove my point but i think i have enough personally for me at least the idea that you can make that song right now it's not something from the 60s i made this the other day and it's like you know this harkens back to a time when love was more pure where somehow that was that man didn't lust after his girl's boobs he loved after them and again that's the nostalgia filter guys that's what i'm talking about and you can disagree with me i mean ultimately if you've listened this far you've done what i needed you to do so you can have whatever opinion you want it's a free country at least the one i'm recording this in i don't know about your country but you're watching me on YouTube, so I assume you have some level of freedom. And, hey, if you don't, and you're still listening anyway, fight the power. All right, whatever. But, uh, guys, I, you know, I, I think that's the fun thing about music, is that music is universal. It's encompassing all space and time. And that, yes, you look at some of the most popular songs, they're not hey, my day is really great and I'm having a great time. It's, it's, it's sadness and it's lust. And, you know, we have this idea, even, and I didn't explore the sadness aspect, but even oldies songs that are like true bops, you're dancing to it. If you look at the lyrics, they're, they're one of two things. They're either really sad or they're really horny. And I, 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 I don't know. But because I wasn't alive then, but I guarantee you that the people of the time, the the people the music was made for, they knew. They knew that's what they were feeling. They're like, this song is about, you know, getting close and touching on my girl, possibly doing more. And if, you know, I play this song enough, it's gonna get in their head and we're gonna we're gonna do it. And that's a very that 70s show take on the whole thing. But again, there's a reason that every generation, the parents of that generation's children were like, the music of now is corrupting the youth of this country. And it wasn't because they were afraid that the kids were going to slow dance or that they were going to do the hop. They were, of course, always afraid that this music was going to inspire their precious children to do the horizontal mambo, just like the music of their generation had inspired them to do it. Music is horny as hell, guys, and I don't care what era you're from. If it's not specifically church music, it's probably horny on some level. Or sad. I mean, again, there's outliers in everything, but, you know, the two main things I've seen when going through and listening to music is it's either horny or it's sad. And we fail to realize this about previous generations of music because of the nostalgia filter. 
Life is complicated no matter what time you live in, and you always want to believe that things didn't used to be this complicated. You know, you want to, for some reason, we all wish to believe that we're living in the worst possible era, when in fact, typically, every era is better than the one that preceded it. One of the I wouldn't even say it's my favorite example. It's just the one that I like to bring up the most. It's actually kind of a sad realization, but we think that the 50s were this idealized historic time that, you know, everything was simple. It was, you know, white picket fence, mom, dad, 2.5 kids. But the thing is, the 50s was nuts. You were dealing with people returning for that had returned from the war, you know, five years ago. Uh, and they, there was a lot of PTSD, people having a lot of psychological problems due to the, due to the horrors of war. There was extreme racial segregation. There was the constant fear of nuclear annihilation from the communists. The 50s was honestly a terrifying time to be alive, but we don't realize that because what people nowadays think the 50s was is what television uh, shows in the 60s wanted you to think the 50s was. If you're someone who was not alive in the 50s and you get an image of what the 50s was like, you're probably thinking of something like Leave It to Beaver or one of those sitcoms from the 60s that was telling people what the 50s was, even though people had lived through the 50s and they knew that's not what it was because they wanted this idealized, pure version of what was honestly a chaotic time in the world as that led into an even more chaotic time of the civil rights movement in the 60s. I guarantee you, whatever your age is, whether it was grandma and grandpa, great grandma and grandpa, mom and dad, whoever you are, the, couples didn't sleep in separate beds in the 50s. That's They had to have a way to make those 2.5 kids. I mean, come on. I mean, like I said, music has always been this way, but look at ragtime, jazz, swing, rock and roll. It's, it's all, it's just rap then later was the big one. And now it's, you know, it's just all of it. But yeah, they're censorship has gone down a little bit so we've been able to be a little more blatant with our lyrics but more or less the songs all have the same message is girl i like you you like me let's take our clothes off and do stuff and quite frankly if the song bops i have no problem with that Thank you all so much for listening today to these songs, which of course will all be posted on my channel in full for you to listen to for free starting tomorrow. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not done so already. Consider joining the channel or becoming a Patreon member, possibly leaving a super thanks, or if you'd like something more tangible for your donation, head on over to eBay and Mercari and maybe buy a mini, most of which right now are only five dollars. Thank you so much for your continued support and patronage as well as helping me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. We're gonna get there, I know it. So guys, until next time, I'm Mr. Sean, this is Chimera Miniatures, and I sincerely hope that you alpha great day and an even beta tomorrow. Bye bye Welcome to the show, we hope you'll stick around Mr. Sean is here to entertain the crowd We've got a bit of everything, cause everything's allowed Chimera Miniatures is here to stay, we hope we make you proud Welcome to the show, we hope you'll stick around Mr. Sean is here to entertain the crowd We've got a bit of everything, cause everything's allowed Chimera Miniatures is here to stay, we hope we make you proud